welcome to this last video where we are going to create our blog detail page right so let's copy this section click on this page blog go to this blog post template this in this blog post template just copy paste this section now what we want we don't want this yeah we can use this right so don't worry we can use no no i don't want to use it for now what i want is i want to delete this also i don't want this for now but we can use this image and also let's bring them out right let's use this image out also use this heading that we had so what we can do let's just copy paste it then just take out this image take also out this heading now let's delete this we can use this collection to show only two post right it is showing only two post which are related to the particular let's say this category if you want we can show it or we can show any random post so what i will do i don't want to show this post this current post anywhere right? anytime here so what i will do i will just click on this filter so let's say select this blog post is not current blog post just save it so our current blog post will never shown here so now let's make this heading big right this is because this is our heading of our blog post okay done the heading is there now what we need we need a rich text box to show our text body of our blog post great see this is doing quite good let's add some margins see here i'm not focusing on design so please forgive me about that okay good okay great now we have this ready so what we want at the end of our blog post we want to show all the tags which are connected with this blog post what you can do you can show a collection list right inside that collection list you can show tags right in the, this blog post we have two tags connected element and web that's why it's showing that inside that let's use a text link use a text link send them to the particular page let's say current tag page let's you get the text of that particular thing okay let's select this collection list let's make it flex box great so we have our flex box let's add some margin to our tax right so here you can also if you want you can put a heading here saying let's use this h3 tax right so you can we can use it like let's use this h4 so it looks good okay good so now we have our tax here great so what else is needed is let's use a tax link again for our category which is let's use show a url right now because collection page we want reference category text name which is connected okay it is connected to the tag category right great so our page is almost not let's not give style to that image let's give it to this by the way you can give it to this combo class block detail image now let's add 40 from top so it looks good select this let's also add some style to it category 
great so now what you have is you have everything that you need in your blog post let me go to my note home page I'm really sorry for that so here I'm on my home page where you can see the blog post that we have let's use this one just click on this one okay why it's not working because we haven't set it right just click on this link block at this collection page go to this current blog post right so I don't want this to be let's not make it so let's remove the order so that we have the current one so when I click on this blog post so it goes to this one if I click here webflow so it will show me only the tags which are webflow related I don't have heading here but you can add heading there if you want let's use a heading I use control E right every time to save time just not to go there and drag and drop things every time just give a name what it's webflow good so now we have everything ready working our blog system is working perfectly right just select this I didn't do that initially but you can do that go to the categories page and do the same thing again to this one current blog post now let's go to a blog post page we are also have this here okay so now sorry for this background noise my friends so now here I'm on my blog page what I will do I will just make it publish I will publish it and you can use your custom domain if you want to add your custom domain just review it how it works how it looks okay you have your post so you can just lay out this right so don't worry about it just click on this block here you can see these blocks let's use this elementor so all the post which are elementor are showing the tag let's use this category tag see so this is how you can create a blog using webflow CMS you can do many things with this right so if you have found this useful please like the video and share the video with your friends who wants to learn this web design thing without writing a code